Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys the Oregon State Nines. I just got these back in my collection and I'm definitely a happy camper. We'll be going over all the reasons of why I got rid of the shoe and how I got it back in my collection and talking about everything in between that. If you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! On this channel, I love talking about sneakers, giving you guys in-depth reviews and telling you guys my stories of my process. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. Let's take it back to 2010 when this shoe originally came out and what this shoe means to not only me, but everybody else that wants to have this shoe in their collection as well. During this time, the University of Oregon was on their way to a national championship and we had saw that they got a special player edition shoe, but during that time, the Oregon State football team also got a shoe as well. So with everybody having their attention on the Oregon football team and seeing them going to the national championship in their sneakers, the Oregon State football team kind of just went underneath the radar. But with me being an Oregon native and living in Portland, Oregon, I had knew about both sneakers and I wanted to have both in my collection. So the players at Oregon State got their shoes at the end of the season and a lot of people were easily trading these shoes or selling them for the low. Like I'm talking about you could get pairs for like 250 bucks with no problem. And during this time, I had known a lot more players at Oregon that I did Oregon State. So it was a little bit harder for me to track down a pair. And one of my friends actually ended up picking up a pair. He had a size 13, but he was trying to low key tax in my head. And obviously I understood that because during the time he got it, maybe a couple years after, he was trying to sell them for like four or 500 bucks or something like that. And I'm thinking like, bro, that's a lot of money. Like, I remember we used to be able to get these for like 250 bucks. So by this time, it's around 2012. The shoes are worth around 500 bucks. He ends up selling the shoe and I'm like, you know what? It's fine. I'll find a pair down the line. It'll be okay. I ended up finding a size 12 and I got them for like 350 bucks and I was definitely extremely happy about it. But we had a major problem. The shoe was a size 12 and I'm a size 13. So what does that mean? Every single time I tried to wear the shoe, I was taking the insole out, trying to stuff my foot in there, rock it on short occasions of like, like, oh, I could wear this for a few hours or something. And it was just killing my toes. I just couldn't do it any longer. So a couple more years go by and now it's like 2017 or 2018. I don't remember which year. I wanna say it was 2018. 2018 comes around and I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm clearing out, I'm selling a bunch of stuff. I'm ready to buy these houses and invest into other things. Let me just get rid of the shoes that I don't fit anymore, stuff that I'm not gonna wear. And that happened to be the shoe that I was like, I don't wear it, I can't fit it. I know I love it, I want it. You know, it represents my home state and everything but at the end of the day like what else am I gonna do with it but put it in a display case so I ended up deciding to sell my pair to Project Blitz back in 2018 and it was a it was a sad day to see the shoe gone but I was like you know what it's okay one day I'll find another pair and I'll actually get a pair in my size that I can wear so time goes on I put the shoes on the back burner you know what I'm saying it's not on my high priority list but you know if somebody ever says hey size 13 Oregon State you know I'm gonna be asking questions seeing like what's the price what you're trying to do work any trades anything like that so flash to 2022 I end up going back to Project Blitz my size 12 pair is still in their vault to this day but I walk in there and I'm like yo there goes my size 12 I miss those so much but that's always a cool thing too like if you sell to people that you know especially somebody like that it's cool because you could potentially just get the same shoe back if you ever want to later down the line or something so that was always a cool thing knowing that they were sitting in the vault and uh, I could potentially you know just call them up hey bro I want to get these back in the collection and then buy them back or trade or whatever so that's always something to think about when you're working with different people and you're making trades and doing deals especially when it's another collector that's not really a reseller um, I know obviously they are resellers but in the sense of working with other collectors that you know they're gonna put it in a good home take care of the shoe love and cherish it as well then you could potentially hit them up years down the line and get that shoe back which I have plenty of stories about situations like that which I've done over the years as well but anyways like I was saying I was in the vault and I ended up seeing another pair looks like blitz has a size 13 and a half right here and I'm like I can make that work so I need these and I need these on the cheaper end, there's a couple of shoes that are a little bit more expensive. We'll talk about those later though. So as you can see from the clip right there, I was like, yo, I gotta get these back in the collection. And I ended up getting a couple other things from the vault as well, but we're just talking about this video in particular. So I have the shoes like I showed you guys earlier and I am an extremely happy camper. And the cool thing about this pair in particular is these are a size 13 and a half, which some people are gonna be like, oh, those are too big for you. When I actually, uh, I low key am like a 13, 13 and a half and it's perfect for my feet. I tried these on, these things fit amazing. I am so happy because I finally got this sneaker. So that's kind of my backstory to the shoe and you know me telling you guys how I got the shoe and everything. Now let's take some more in-depth looks at this sneaker so we can finish off this video. Starting with the bottom of the foot, you have your classic Air Jordan 9 outsole in all black with the orange Jumpman on the heel of the foot. 
Going up to the midsole, you got a black metallic paint with the black rubber and the white Jumpman on the back and around the heel. And then on the upper, you have a premium smooth leather and it's more of a faded kind of off-white color compared to your classic like pure white. And it gives that shoe that vintage vibe with the cream laces and everything like that. And you got more of a premium rope wax lace as well. And then on the back end, you got an orange heel tab, an orange Oregon State logo, and then an orange 23. And then you got more of that hair and bone carbon fiber style sock liner with the all black right here. This is definitely a very clean shoe. And honestly, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion. I know I'm a huge Oregon Ducks fan, but again, I want to represent my state. So I got to make sure if it's Oregon or Oregon State, I want both of them in the collection. But when I tell you this right here, the Oregon 9s, I think the Oregon State 9s are better. That's just in my opinion. I feel like, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I would love to hear you guys' opinion. I know I love Oregon, and obviously Oregon gets way more PEs than Oregon State because essentially Oregon State got this shoe right here, and then the guy who was the designer that was doing the colorways for Oregon State design, he ended up getting fired. Doesn't work at Nike anymore. At least I heard he got fired. I don't remember. But either way, the designer that was working on this project doesn't work there anymore. So then what? They ended up not doing any more Oregon State PEs after that. And this was essentially like the first Oregon Jordan, Oregon, Oregon State Jordan PE that we saw on both sides of the realm. Like I know we had the 2010, you know, Air Jordan. That was a whole, we'll talk about that shoe as well when it comes to the Oregon uh, 2010 version because yeah, I don't know if you guys know about those. Anyways, this was like the first one and then this was like the last one, right? And I know everybody's gonna be like, well, what about the Oregon State mids? <sighs> yeah, I guess you could say they got those a couple years ago or last year. I don't even remember what year it was, but either way, yeah, those, should we even count those? <laughs> I guess technically it is a PE and people are trying to resell them for like 1500 bucks right now, which I think is crazy, but that's a whole nother topic again. But yes, um, it is unfortunate because we are here in Oregon and I feel like both of these two universities, especially being big D1 schools, uh, should have a plethora of PEs should have the best PEs out of every college in the country, in my opinion. But you know, that's probably a bias. I don't know, you know, maybe a bias. I understand North Carolina. I get that one as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I'm excited to hear you guys' opinion about this shoe. I am extremely happy to add these back in my collection and give you guys an in-depth review and look at this shoe. I was looking at this uh, on the internet. I tried to search up just like Oregon State Nines with a review and uh, there really wasn't that many on the internet. So Hopefully this one can last the tell of time and go ahead and stay on the internet for everybody so I can get a full in-depth look at the shoe and everything. But that's my story. Uh, yeah, see you on another one. All right. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the if you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and name three Oregon State football players that are just goats when it comes to Oregon State. You guys are probably going to have a hard time with this one, but, ah, oh man, there's some good people that came out of Oregon State on a low. Like, you guys probably wouldn't realize it, but there, there's a couple ballers.